Hello everybody, Dan here with TrendSpider and in this video I have a brand new feature to show you. This is something I'm very, very excited about. We've been working on it for more than six months. Now, we all know as traders and investors, we spend a lot of our time looking for new opportunities and trying to understand what's going on in the market. This new feature that I'm gonna show you today is designed to help you do that in a new and intuitive way. So with that little intro out of the way, let's dive in and take a look. The feature is called Dataflow. You can find it in the top right corner next to the market scanner. When you click on the Dataflow button, it will open a lower panel at the bottom of your chart. This is your Dataflow panel, and this allows you to add different types of widgets to it that display different types of data. There are seven different types of data that are available in this widget. Analyst estimates, dividends, earnings, insider trades, news, splits, and unusual options. I've selected insider trades and unusual options to start with, but obviously you can have more of these widgets, you can have all seven at once, you can even have multiple widgets of the same type open at the same time, and I'll explain why when we get to that point in a moment here. Now, in this widget on the left here, this is our insider trading widget. Let's say that we wanna see what the insiders at corporations whose stocks we trade are doing with their shares. We can do that in the TrendSpider sidebar on a symbol by symbol basis, but in the Dataflow widget, we can see it for the whole market as it's happening. This means it is not symbol specific, it is actually the market as a whole as it's happening. And we can filter these and we can sort these and we can do all kinds of stuff with them. By default, they're gonna be sorted by the date, but we can also go in and add a filter here so we can filter out people that we're not interested in or types of trades that we're not interested in. Let's say we're only interested in seeing insider trades that are buys because insider buys are somewhat rare. To do that, we just click on the three dots on the transaction column. We go down to filter. It's gonna give us a transaction is and we can select the type of transaction we want. I'm gonna choose buy here and click apply. It's then gonna update my insider traders widget here to show me only insider trades where the insider has purchased shares in their own company. So it's really cool, you can see it as it happens. And what's really neat is we can also go in here and say, hey, someone bought PayPal shares who's a director there. Let's look at the chart and we can click on the results in the widget and actually pull up the chart on the upper half of our screen where our price chart is. Now, you can only currently filter by one column at a time. We will add multi-level filtering down the road, but keep that in mind, that is a limitation of the current version of this feature. But we can filter and sort in a variety of ways using any of the columns that are visible. If you wanna remove some columns, you can go to show columns and you can check and uncheck whichever ones you don't wanna see and it will remove them from your screen. Now, let's talk about the unusual options widget because this one has a lot of depth to it that we should cover and discuss. Unusual options trades come in a variety of types. There are trades, which are often referred to as block trades, and there are sweeps. They can be bearish or bullish. They can take place on a stock or an ETF. They can be in the money, out of the money, at the money. They can be a put or a call and they can occur at the ask or at the bid. That's a lot of different stuff that can happen in these particular unusual options trades. So you may want a way to filter it down so you only see the stuff that you're interested in. This is where tags come in. Tags in an unusual options widget are automatically generated descriptive parameters that you can then filter by. You can see that every single one of these unusual option trades has five or six different tags automatically generated for it. That is by intention to help you filter them. So we can go here and click on tags and click on the three dots and we can go down to filter. It's gonna open our filter dialog here. And let's say we only want to see unusual option trades that are sweeps and that occur out of the money. We can just type sweep comma out of the money and click apply. And it's gonna filter this to only show us sweep trades that occurred out of the money. This is very, very powerful because what you can do is you can have multiple unusual option trades open at a time. Let's say you want one that we filtered with sweeps and out of the money. Let's say we want another one that only shows us puts. So we can then select this one and we can filter it and select put only and click apply. That's gonna give us 
two different unusual options flow widgets, each filtering the data in a different way and showing us a different amount of information and a different subset of data. This is a great way to discover opportunities in the market and to get a general sense for what's going on. Obviously, if you're watching the overall flow in the market and you're seeing nothing but puts being traded, that tells you something. Just like if you saw nothing but calls being traded. Now, this is a new feature, it is beta. There are definitely some limitations. You're only able to filter by one of the columns at a time. You're only able to sort by one of the columns at a time. There are some other small limitations. We're gonna have a link to the documentation in this video, so it'll give you a full list of those. And it'll also give you a lot of the nuance in it, like how to filter by dates, because there's a special way to do that and so forth. But by using Dataflow, you can save yourself both the hassle of trying to find things manually and the expense and hassle of having to use multiple tools. A lot of traders pay for separate tools just for analyst estimates or just for unusual options, and you no longer have to do that because it's now built into Transport and works just like anything else out there. So with that out of the way, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you find this feature useful and explore it and get used to it and fall in love with it as we all have here. If you have any questions, suggestions, or recommendations for it, drop us a note. We're all ears. We want to make this as good as we possibly can. Thanks for watching and have a good day.